I want to thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate the people who are following me on Twitter at uh, Chainsaw CCC. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I am very interested to hear your thoughts on these and other issues. If you enjoy what we're doing here in rural Missouri and want to support independent progressive media from the hills and wilderness of the Ozarks, consider going to patreon.com slash chainsaw CCC and becoming a Patreon supporter. Uh, you can support independent media for as little as $3 per month. That's half the cost of a loaded tea per month. Thank you again, and we'll catch you on the flippity fling flong. Rock and roll. Back the fuck up. Turn that camera off. Um, these are the words of Arkansas's uh, finest, apparently. Um, wow. I, I, I caught this at the tail end uh, of yesterday, and um, you know, the strange thing is, um, over the weekend, of course, some of you folks may know, if you follow me on social media or if you've seen me, um, tagged in social media. You may know that uh, I had spent the weekend um, in Peavely, Missouri um, at a local uh, you know, festival there, uh, meeting and greeting folks, uh, shaking hands. Uh, uh, one, of the, one of the most interesting folks that I met um, over the weekend was the chief of police of the city of Peavely, who honestly, and, and I said this to him probably three or four times, was probably the most delightful person I had come across in the, the, you know, the twenties as it were. And, um, you know, and, and I'd mentioned to him, you know, I think that, uh, you know, it, it just kind of the, the general atmosphere and the general feel of, of interacting with other officers under, under, uh, you know, under, under his employment, um, it really, you could tell that his good vibes, right? And again, I don't, I don't know anything about his history or the history of the department. This is just firsthand, first um, impressions of, of meeting these folks. But just his general good nature, it seemed, um, it, it, it seemed to trickle down to the other, the other officers that I met. Um, you know, I'd seen a few officers cracking jokes. Um, you know, during my uh, Eric Schmidt got me sideways video. One part that you didn't uh, see is, of course, because I'm not doing a whole lot of heavy lifting and whatnot. And uh, they had these picnic tables out there that I swear to God weighed 3,000 pounds. So I found two of the biggest, burliest, beef cakeiest police officers down there to help me move, uh, you know, one of the park benches about 15 feet to one side. And like I say, these things uh, weigh weigh as much as uh, seven Mack trucks. And of course, uh, these folks not only the two the two the two gentlemen that I found uh, not only helped me in in setting things up so I could uh, you know sit comfortably and 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 record that for you, um, but also you know we were cracking jokes and cutting up a bit uh, you know before, during, and after of course. And um, you know one of those officers as I was leaving uh, you know also was uh, doing a bit of cutting up uh, with another uh, uh, officer there. And, and it just the general mood was just delightful and pleasant. And of course, uh, when I come back to my office, I, I ping on Twitter and this is the first bunch of stupid fucking bullshit that I see from my local area. Um, the dynamic, the duality um, of, of the situation and the irony does not uh, escape me uh, when it comes to the situation. So, so let's just jump right into it. Um, krk.com, and I know a lot of folks had, uh, you know, already tweeted about this, already, already covered this in some. I know that uh, Brother Bo from the Fifth Column um, has done a piece on this, and not a lot of other uh, indie media, but I'm sure that that will be coming um, in the next couple of days. So my apologies for being later than him. Um, but let's let's just jump right into it. So krk um, posted an article uh, about this just uh, just uh, yesterday, and of course updated today. 
Um, Arkansas State Police investigating uh, arrest in Crawford County after video shows apparent beating of suspect. And, yeah, uh, apparent beating. I mean, clearly the officer on the uh, uh, the bottom left uh, portion of your screen there was literally... I mean, did you see that? My God, go back and play the video if you haven't already seen it already. And if you have, go back and watch it again one more time for me, would you please? Um, clearly looked like he was trying to bash that fucking guy's skull clean open. That's that's not that's not trying to detain a suspect who may or may not be resisting. He was literally in broad daylight trying to bash his fucking brains onto the concrete. That's what fucking murder looks like, folks. Um, innocent until proven guilty and all that, but I think the evidence speaks for itself. Jesus Christ, my own two eyes do not deceive me here, for fuck's sake. Um, Crawford County, Arkansas authorities with the Arkansas State Police are investigating an incident involving law enforcement in Crawford County Sunday morning. Two deputies, a police officer, have been suspended after video on Facebook appears to show them uh, beating a restrained South Carolina man. Um, you know, not even from there. I can love it. Special agents with ASP are investigating the arrest, which took place outside a convenience store in Mulberry. Um, according to ASP, the incident involves two Crawford County Sheriff's deputies and an officer with the Mulberry Police Department. The Crawford County uh, Sheriff uh, James DeMonte has confirmed that one Mulberry police officer and two deputies were shown in the video and has issued the following statement, which uh, we've, we've followed that up on uh, social media there, of course. Uh, let me pull this up here. Um, cause he, he's made a, a couple of these here, um, yesterday at 5.38, uh, uh, PM, well, uh, I guess at, uh, 4.38, uh, uh, PM, uh, Central here, in reference to the video circulating social media involving two Crawford County deputies, we have requested that Arkansas State Police conduct the investigation and the deputies have been suspended. Pending the outcome of the investigation, I hold all my employees accountable for their actions and will take appropriate measures, uh, in this matter, which, you know, sounds good and whatnot. But, um, again, the culture, it, it, it trickles down. So, you know, obviously the, uh, let's say obviously, but it, it seems apparent to this <laughs> minority that, uh, you know, the, the chief may have been, uh, or the sheriff here uh, in Crawford County, Arkansas, may have been caught with his pants down and is uh, now playing damage control. Which, I get it. I get it. Jesus Christ, if one of my employees did a bunch of shit that uh, I wouldn't want getting out in the general public, but that I had nurtured and created an environment for, um, my panties would be in a twist, too. I would definitely be uh, clutching my pearls, uh, as it were. But but, but I digress. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah, Jesus Christ. Uh, authorities for the ASP um, said that the 27-year-old um, 27 year old Randall uh, Worcester of Goose Creek, South Carolina, was transported to an area in a hospital for examination and treatment, then later released and taken into custody, where I'm sure he was just treated with the up, utmost, um, you know, respect, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure they, they handled him with kid gloves. Um, then again, you never know. They fucking might have, because they know that uh, they're going to be in a pickle. Um, Worcester is facing uh, charges of secondary battery, resisting arrest, refusal to submit, possessing an instrument of crime, criminal trespass, criminal mischief, terroristic threatening, and second degree assault. I would love to see what of those the timeline of incidents, um, and I'm sure that we will uh, be able to follow this up um, as the investigation continues. Um, when, uh, before. Uh, during uh, the police interaction, uh, all of those incidents had come up. I'm super curious, as I'm sure most of you are. Uh, Worcester was released on bond Monday afternoon. Um, and yes, uh, the tweet from Mitchell McCoy is actually who I'd originally seen, but was not the original um, poster. So I went ahead and followed that up uh, with the original uh, poster. So if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen that yesterday. Um, in a statement on Twitter, Arkansas Governor Aizen Hutchinson said, I've spoken with Colonel Bill Bryant to the Arkansas State Police and the local uh, arrest incident in Crawford County will be investigated pursuant to the video evidence and request of uh, prosecuting attorney. I mean, what what sort of investigation do you need? All the evidence is right there on video. Um, clearly, that was attempted murder. I mean, you know, I would assume that it, it 
I'm look, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a police officer, but um from what I can understand about what attempted murder looks like, I mean he wasn't not trying to bash the guy's fucking brains into the concrete. He wasn't trying to literally open the guy's skull, you know, for whatever it was that he did. Jesus Christ. Um Look, go back and watch the video, um, choose for yourself. But um, there, there is no shortage, of course, um, and, and whenever it comes to it. And I did want to mention that because um, Brother Bo did make a, a big deal about this, so I figured it's much, uh, it's worth mentioning. I, it grabbed my attention as much, and I appreciate him um, uh, doing the work that he did, uh, getting his segment out, because it, it pointed me in, in the direction of these articles for the, the, the headlines. Um, he made the reference that a lot of times when this sort of thing happens, the headlines are a little more along the lines of, um, how, how did he put it, uh, you know, locals shocked by, uh, you know, uh, arrest and, and, and whatnot. Um, you know, but in this case, it's, it reads something along the lines of Arkansas state police investigating arrest in Crawford County after video shows apparent beating of suspect, um, State level bigwigs, and this is uh, Arkansas Times. State level bigwigs address uh, gun crimes in Little Rock and police brutality in Mulberry. And then, of course, the uh, the NPR. Um, Arkansas officers were suspended after video on social media shows a police beating um, because the apparentness of, of of this incident is is just as thus. Uh, I mean, wow, my God. But um, I did, I did want to go a little bit further uh, into this than I think he had a chance to. And, and again, a lot of other folks will probably be discussing this as well on other uh, indie media. The uh, Crawford County Sheriff's Office also uh, sent this out, at least on uh, Facebook. I haven't uh, checked any other social media or seen if they have any. I'm a horrible investigative journalist, so go ahead and write that down. Um, but wrote uh, eight hours ago for my checking, um, the deputies involved in the uh, video yesterday are and it released the names, and I believe that was in a uh, uh, krk.com uh, uh, website also, Crawford County uh, Sheriff Names Officers in Arkansas viral, viral Arrest Video. So I'll go ahead and uh, uh, read this to you. Um, the deputies involved in the video yesterday are Deputy Zach King, Deputy Levi White, and Mulberry Officer uh, Tell Riddle. Um, Tell, Fell, what, you know. Americans do what they want to with their names, right? Uh, there was a comment shared about Zach King's address yesterday. This is a civilian. So apparently somebody tried to dox um, one of the deputies, and it turned out it was not the, the deputy. It was just some freaking guy, um, some some poor bastard out there. Uh, apparently, I, I'm assuming probably had to deal with a bunch of shit. Um, so, so extremely unfortunate um not big on doxing myself um i think most of my audience knows my stances on doxing by now um and the people who defend that shit um this is a civilian and is not the Crawford County deputy or associated with the Crawford County Sheriff's Office. Please refer questions to the Arkansas State Police and Federal Bureau of Investigations. We are cooperating with all aspects of their investigation. I will make a statement to the public at a later time, which we also have that. We're going to go into um, here just a bit. But I, I did want to kind of go over, and, and of course, I'm, I'm sure that, that most of the folks who had seen the video... And make the assumption I can see it right here on social media um, and, and I'll tell you a little bit about what I've seen um, you know uh, one of the comments watching this out of France it's everywhere in the news here what a shame they're being suspended I mean they should be in jail right now waiting for hearing but uh, we know uh, those kind of people get protection uh, whatever they do it's unbelievable I watched this from New Zealand I agree they should you know have been arrested uh, quickly uh, this would never have happened here. Thankfully, uh, this office needs to act on this ASAP and have them in jail. So, you know, thank God for Twitter, right? Because um, you can't, you know, folks on Facebook will be finding this shit in a week. Um, American justice is so different. Greetings from Denmark. I agree. The world is watching this travesty of policing. Um, this is why people do not trust law enforcement anymore. So wrong of them. And, and I agree. Again, it shocked me that I met a... That I, that I met police officers who were pleasant, but then I met the chief of police who was, like, super fucking pleasant. I mean, the guy, I swear to God, he was, like... I told him, I'm like, look, uh, you know, I don't know that I would ever want to be a police officer, but, like, 
and you know i don't want to be a police officer but like if i did if it came to the point that i you know in somewhere in my life i ever had wanted to or ever would want to like i mean shit i would just want to work for i just i, I would go clean the floors for the guy just to be around the guy just to you know just just because he's fucking pleasant the uh the, the chief there that i met in in Peavely. and again I, you know it's uh I don't know. I don't know the history of him. I don't know the history of the department. Just for face value, the guy seemed really, really nice and really pleasant. You know, he was helpful. He gave me good information. We cracked some jokes, you know, and, and all the while I'm dressed like a, a hoodlum. So, you know, if he were that judgy type, he definitely turned it off for that day, you know, but uh, he just seemed like a genuinely nice guy. And it would be hard to, for him to fake that and all of his other officers to also fake that because most of the police officers that I'd interacted with were also very, very pleasant. So why does shit like this even have to happen? Um, those officers should have been arrested and fired on the spot. The family of the officer doesn't deserve harassment, no matter how reprehensible his behavior. The children and wives are not responsible. Um, this is exactly why lawsuits need to come out of the collective pensions of police officers. Violent officers uh, would be held in check by fellow officers because they would be threatening their retirement benefits. Um, it's time for officers to carry their own insurance. Thank you. Uh, much like nurses and doctors do, uh, they should be required to have a, a college degree in pre-law. Um, absolutely despicable behavior. They need to be charged and fired. Um, and then there was one down here that, that really grabbed my attention, and and I was waiting for it. Um, the more I read these, uh, you know, these responses talking about, you know, basically the the disgust of people who had seen this stuff on on social media and who had viewed the video. Um, I thought to myself, well, maybe this is going to be, uh, you know, maybe this would be an op open and shut case as far as the court of public opinion, right? But then I saw this. Well, unfortunately, I'd love to share that with you, but uh, I'm not able to find it. Apparently, um, it, the, the algorithm deleted uh, or removed it from my from my being able to see it here or... It was deleted by the user or or by the the sheriff's office, but I, I did see a, a couple of of uh, posts in in support uh, of the officers, which I found really weird. Um, some of them were direct, some of them were less than direct. Um, one that really grabbed my attention was uh, someone had commented, um, you know, put yourself in the officer's shoes, um, you know, walk a mile in their shoes before you rush to judgment. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, look, and this is me. What in the world could this person have possibly been doing at all, at all, anything? Just go through your mind. Think of the worst crimes in the world that would justify the police, not the victim, not the, you know, not an emotionally driven, uh, you know, civilian that, a, but police, the people who are charged and paid by our tax dollars to serve and protect, as it were. Um, who are put in this position and given things like qualified immunity so that they don't go out and act like murderous fucking savages. What in the world could he possibly have been doing to have deserved that? I mean, again, uh, you know, uh, beating is one thing. That guy was literally grabbing his head and bashing him like a fucking coconut. Um, you know, I, I, I pop in the freezer, I grab a bag of chicken or I grab a bag of gyoza, you know, whatever I'm making, uh, you know, uh, a nice Japanese dinner here, you know, at home. I, 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 don't, I don't smack the bag against my refrigerator as hard as he bashed that fucking guy's brains into the goddamn concrete sidewalk. Okay? And, you know, again, I'm a civilian, so don't take my word for it. There were several other folks in the comments section replying, and they may be full of shit also, but I did see several who would at least claim to be former law enforcement, or current law enforcement, um responding with um yeah we don't do that that's not a thing we're not trained to do that in fact we're trained to not do that sort of shit um what they did was abhorrent and they should be charged um and disgusted by it um but of course there are the bootlickers who will just lick boots for the sake of licking boots and again i say this as a guy who just came from a place and had a magical and wonderful time with police officers and a police chief who was just like, you know, I, I I literally called him the second most delightful person I've met in the 2020s, and you know, I met a lot of delightful people so far in the 20s. Um, but in this case, it is what it is, bro. Um, 
these guys, obviously the evidence is there. I'm pretty sure that the law would back that up, that they should be charged, um, whether or not they will. And of course, whether or not they'll be convicted by a jury of, of their peers will, will, will that, that remains to be seen. Um, I just, wow. And, and, and to think that, that something like this, um, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, but I did want to show the, uh, the response, uh, from Arkansas governor Asa Hutchinson, which is not something that I'd seen that a lot of folks, cause literally while I was piecing this together had, had just come out. I did want to share that, um, uh, before we go here. Uh, first of all, uh, that is, uh, reprehensible conduct, uh, in which, uh, a suspect, uh, is beat in that fashion. Uh, we saw a glimpse of that. It is under investigation. We don't have all of the details. And now, pay attention to what uh, Governor Hutchinson says here. We don't have all of the details. We don't have all of the details. The governor of Arkansas says we don't have all of the details. Now, watch and see if you can find where he makes up some bullshit to lick boots. Wait for it. A glimpse of that. It is under investigation. We don't have all of the details, and certainly uh, that suspect had a history of of uh, concern that was legitimate for the officers. But did you find it? We don't have all of the details, but certainly that suspect had what the fuck did he say? Had a history of of uh, concern that was legitimate for the officers, but. That's what he said. Okay. So we don't have all the details. We don't know. I, as the governor of Arkansas, I don't exactly know what's going on. And, and investigators, you know, we're still piecing it together. But as best I could tell, you know, these officers did what the fuck they felt like doing because they had a right. And this is all a bunch of bullshit. And I'm going to do everything I can to get these guys off. And we're going to start right here with my address of the... You know, while condemning this violent arrest, I'm just going to go ahead and shine it up there for you there, sir. Um, get the fuck out of here. And keep in mind, this is the same guy who, after the no-holds-barred anti-abortion, uh, you know, uh, signed the, the anti-abortion legislation in Arkansas, was like, Oh, well, by gosh, golly, um, well, maybe we should have uh, made it to where we didn't have any exceptions for things like rape or incest, you know, well before there were so many documented cases of rape and incest and children not being able to get abortions all across the fucking country. I hey, get the fuck out of here, guy absolute scum look if you live in arkansas and you still voting for you know this guy this party um you fucking deserve everything you get i swear to christ they just i can't i fucking that what that response was was not consistent with the training that they receive as certified officers uh with the arkansas law enforcement training are you sure about that i don't sound like you're too sure about that in academy uh, that will be investigated by the state police. Uh, I understand that uh, the U.S. Attorney and the Civil Rights Division of the Department of Justice will be conducting a separate investigation. I've talked to uh, the chief of, uh, I've talked to the sheriff of Crawford County. He doesn't even know who he fucking talked to. Get out of here. I relayed uh, my understanding of the circumstances and Confidence is zero. Uh, we discussed the investigation that will ensue. He certainly promised all the cooperation, and I thought his comment that uh, uh, they hold the officers to a high standard, immediate action was taken, and uh, that was important for the public to see that in this case. And so the investigation will continue uh, by the state police as well as by uh, federal authorities, but uh, I did want to say uh, this is not what our law enforcement community represents. It's not the proper response, and uh, uh, they will be reviewed and uh, appropriate action taken. Three officers, not, not one rogue cop, three officers felt perfectly fine and perfectly fucking justified with going, not one of the other two?
beat the shit out of that cop who was trying to bash that guy's brains in. Clearly, this is a culture of... The, the, the last 15 things that came out of this guy's mouth are complete garbage. This is exactly what they're pushing for. And look, uh, I'll, I'll get into that hindsight is 2020 thing in a second. Uh, consistent with uh, what the investigation uh, le uh, we learned from that and what it, the results are. Right. And what's I the... I can't uh, believe this actually oh, worked to lower my car insurance. We got, we got ads here. It's my favorite month, part. And, now we'll um, and what's the purpose of the investigation? I mean, really and truly. Um, everything that we need to know is right there on camera for us. We saw everything there is there is to be seen. No, no investigation needed. Um, it's right there. And again, three officers. One, two, die. Not a single one of the other two decided to do that to the officer who clearly was trying to murder the suspect. They were perfectly fine. They felt perfectly justified. They felt like, you know, they were going to get away with this and they were going to go home at the end of the day to their families and pet their little dog and, you know, pat little Timmy on the head and give little Rosie a kiss on the cheek and eat their fucking mashed potatoes and fucking, you know, ham and go about their business. They were perfectly all right with this, perfectly comfortable with all of, all three of them. And look, like I say, hindsight is twenty twenty, but hoping to God this does set a precedent for changes in what communities expect and will let fly from law enforcement. And at the first opportunity, they get rid of the sheriff. Oh, we're getting a little too overzealous here. They get rid of the sheriff. And they get rid of the chief of police who allowed this sort of shit to permeate as far as their culture. But um, if you think this is an isolated in incident, if you think that this is, you know, oh, well, this is just one, one, three rogue cops, maybe a rogue department, maybe two rogue departments, one's a sheriff, and one's a city cop. That already sounds funny. Um... Just in case, and this is this is to all of the all of all of my white uh, viewers out there, or rather, I don't imagine anyone's actually watching this show who doesn't. Maybe one person, two, the, the three white people who watch this show and get super pissed off when I talk about things that you basically grew up your whole life thinking were carved into fucking granite. Um, if you think that this is a rare incident um, and you don't have any people of color that you can ask because I'm pretty sure that uh, I might be the only one that you do interact with um, I'm just saying I live here too I get it um, but but if you don't have the option to speak with a person of color um, take a look at what's happening right in your own neck of the woods on the other side of the border here um, I shared this previously and this was something that was sent to me uh, by a viewer. And I believe this is the, uh, this is Douglas County, Missouri, um, their sheriff's department. Um, and the sort of shit that they're pulling on the other side of the border, you know, right here in southern Missouri. So you fucking tell me this is an isolated incident. Let's, let's take a look here. A little slow on the draw, but uh, I didn't edit the video either. Give me a tow truck in route to my location. Huh? Distribution. Marijuana. So real quick, pull somebody, you know, from the best we can tell from the video, pull somebody over in this, uh, you know, this ugly guy with the thing. No offense, guy. Um, the guy with the thing on his face there is, uh, you know, yard. Uh... Pull somebody over in the in this guy's yard, um, and the guy walks up. He walks out of his house and is like, "Hey, what's going on over here? You're all up in my driveway and whatnot, <clears throat> pulling somebody over." Well, he tells him we're pulled him over for distribution of marijuana, apparently, and uh, this is how the conversation proceeds. Uh, Mr. Mears, that is actually a felony in the state Who are you? It doesn't matter. All right, then. Step back inside. All right, step back inside. You're going to back up from my crime scene or you're going to jail. You're on my property. Really? Okay. 
Go to 15 with him, too. And just like that, we're going to arrest this guy. Just like that. We're going to move in on somebody who walked up. Yes, he did walk up on their, you know, arrest, their investigation or what. It was in his fucking yard. He's like, hey, what the fuck's going on out here? Do I, you know, should I be concerned? Tells me there's a felony committed. Oh, shit, there's a, doesn't matter. You know, if these officers were that uh, convinced that it was a nonviolent crime, maybe they'd go fuck off instead of trying to arrest people for felony distribution of marijuana in 2022 in Missouri. Jesus Christ, it's the recreational, uh, you know, uh, marijuana use is, is on the ballot. You know, so go fuck yourselves to these, you know, sheriff's deputies in particular. But the guy's like, okay, so you're telling me it's a felony. That's a serious fucking crime. This has happened in my yard. Like, what's going on? Hey, who are you? Well, it's none of your fucking business who I am. I own the fucking property. I, I could not own the property. I could be the dog watcher. I could just, well, you know, it doesn't really look like somebody's putting fertilizer on a yard. But, uh, you know, maybe he just got done. Uh, maybe that was the first day. He could have could have been there, you know, washing dishes for the, the, the you know, the, the next door, uh, you know, uh, elderly couple that lives there whoever you know maybe maybe he's living in that garage with the open door and he's doing dishes for him who knows who knows but it's none of their fucking business who he is he says he lives there they're talking about a felony that's a serious crime he's like yo what's going on they want to know who he is i'm not a part of your investigation we'll back the fuck up well okay well shit you're all up in my yard now you're giving me shit and he's moving back and he's moving back. He's not resisting. He's not nothing. And they just decide out of the fucking blue, we're going to arrest this guy. You tell me. But if that, you're under arrest for impeding investigation. You're under an arrest for impeding of an investigation now. And if you think that's as bad as this is going to get, oh, shit. Put your hands behind your back now. That's a fucking taser. Yeah, I told you. Put your hands behind your back. Now, here come... Now he's got his hands behind his back. The other officer's right there behind him. You guys are bitches. Really? Calls him bitches. You guys are bitches. He says to the Douglas County sheriffs, you guys are bitches. There's only 37 seconds left of this video. I guess we're going to find out whether or not he's right. Really? Not exactly my favorite choice of slurs um is it protected speech to be an asshole yes unfortunately it is but also it is um would a civilian have punched this guy in the face maybe probably would he deserved it yeah i must say so um, it's 2022, and clearly this guy's got some work to do on himself, but, uh, these are cops. They have qualified immunity. And Q. Stop resisting, do you understand? Stop resisting. Show another male detained at this time. He is ten fifteen. Oh yeah, it's on. And just like that. Um now again, you know, uh not anywhere near my favorite choice of slurs. Um, is that guy an asshole? Yes. Um, is being an asshole a crime? No. Was he resisting arrest in any way? No. Should he have been arrested? Mm, probably not. But, um, you know, I think he did kind of prove that at least, well, in this case, it seems like both of those deputies are total bitches. Um, and 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 here's the thing: what this this actually came out. Um, this video was sent to me um, at the end of May. So and I and I believe this incident had taken place several weeks before then. So if you think that this is rare, 
And if you think that this is rare, specifically in rural communities in rural Missouri, you would be fucking a thousand percent wrong. Um, but it, it just goes to show. I mean, I've, I've, you know, even when, even in my younger days, of course, when I was a little bit more, um, uh, we'll say indulgent in, uh, recreational again non-violent crimes of course but what would be considered a crime still still yet in certain situations i had my own run-ins uh, with the law and the, and whatnot but uh you know well, crime's a crime i guess but uh yeah um even these days when i'm balls deep in squaresville um you know, I think uh, some folks who I've I've spoken with on a on a one to one level, um, in person, you know, kind of kind of have an idea of some of the uh, things that uh, I've had to deal with with regard to uh, law enforcement, um, even at this age, even as recently as uh, you know election day 2020, um, getting pulled over, or you know, basically harassed, um, you know, and, and all but accused by the police during an, a literal hour and 45 minute roadside investigation for what it is that I'm doing or what it is that uh, I may or may not be possessing and carrying in my vehicle when all the while I was simply trying to take my potentially hypoglycemic uh, domestic partner to go get some goddamn pizza. So if you think it doesn't happen in rural Missouri, if you think it doesn't happen this close to home if you doesn't if you don't think it happens in your backyard you are painfully mistaken but um listen we're going to follow this uh as more uh, as, as the story develops and uh we're, certainly there will be more to come um thanks for thanks for checking this out i know that a lot of folks have been uh, waiting for it uh, uh you know waiting for my comments uh, since i tweeted about this last night um check me out at uh uh, chainsawccc.com slash youtube uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and uh, if you follow me on social media I love you to death we'll see you in the next one